what's up everybody welcome to my channel if you want to know how i went from this hot mess to this nice cute bun then keep on watching so i like to start with moisturized hair so i'm going to be moisturizing my hair with my it doesn't it doesn't get much better than this hair butter by shade oh i can't speak today by main choice <laughs> And I'm going to be conditioning my hair with my Uncle Funky's Daughter Midnight Train Leave-In Conditioner. This is a really great conditioner. It feels really nice. And it smells like candy, so I'm going to be using it. So after I'm done um, picking out my hair because my hair was parted into sections because I had it braided, I'm just going to pick that out and then I'm going to take my um, brush and I'm just going to brush my hair up um, into like a ponytail on the top of my head. Okay, so I have two different kinds of Eco Styler gel, obviously, like you just saw. Um, I have the Eco Styler gel with the high in protein, I have the normal one with olive oil. I'm going to be using the olive oil the Eco Styler gel. They're both really good and I both use them for the same purposes. Sometimes I just feel like using one over the other. If you want to know, if you want to see like a review on both the gels, just let me know in the comment section and I'll gladly do one for you. So I'm using the Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil one, and I'm just going to use it to smooth my hair up into a ponytail. You may notice that my hair is beginning to revert back, as in like it's starting to curl back up and wave up and so forth. It's really hot <laughs> in the bathroom, so my hair is just um, curling back up because of the heat. But once I put my, um, my silk wrap over my head, it'll smooth it all down properly. Okay, so to start, I'm going to be using just some normal Kanekalon hair that I got from the new supply store that I was able to braid all the way down to the bottom. And what I'm going to do is wrap it, wrap the elastic band around my bun that I have formed on top of my head and then wrap one of the braids around going one way, secure it with a, with a bobby pin and then wrap the other braid going the opposite way around and secure that with a bobby pin. Okay, you're going to see me struggle a little bit. This is actually my first time doing a full bun with just braided hair. Usually I would twist the hair around, which makes it a lot easier. Also, I would have used more open bobby pins instead of closed ones because it's just a lot of easy, it's a lot easier to do. Whatever works for you, um, I just wanted to try something different. So I thought a braided top knot bun would look cute and just something that I've never tried before. <laughs> okay so here as you can see I finally got <laughs> it to stay properly so that's how the bun looks on my head it might look different for you but that's how it looks on me um, so now I'm just trying to fix it up, trying to make it look good, trying to make it look cute before I put my tie head on and get my edges sleek. This took a lot of playing around with because um, like I said before, I've never done it with 
braided hair before I usually would twist the hair which makes it a lot softer when it's braided it's like a lot harder to get the bobby pins through it so I had to keep going back and taking out unraveling it putting it back together oh, it was so hard next time I'm probably gonna use more open bobby pins than closed ones So now I'm just going to use one of my favorite edge controls, which is a lot of body edge control. And I'm just going to sweep my edges down before I put my silk um, scarf around my head. And then I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes. Alright, so now I'm back with the finished results. <laughs> Didn't take too long, right? Anyways, so now it looks a lot nicer. My edges are a lot sleeker. And now I have a beautiful top knot braided bun.